Hey guys, this is Eddie here. In this video, I'm now going to show you how to make a robot randomly roam around the room. So I'm going to assume that you guys have done all of my previous lessons so you can integrate the idea that I show you now to your other projects. So the block that we're going to use is under the red um, panel under data operations. So click on that. And you'll see that there's a block on the right hand side called random. So let's drag that on. All right, it should have a picture of a die. Now what this does is right now you've set it to generate a random number between 1 and 10. Right? Uh, now what I want to do now is change a number here so that I can generate a random number between negative 100 to 100. So, for example, if I run the program now, it could give me a number, let's say 30, right? Next time I run the program, it could give me 50. So every time I run the program, it'll generate a random number. But what are we going to use this for? Well, let's drag onto the screen a move steering block. And you can see here that the amount of steering is zero, meaning it's going to go forward. If I change a number for steering, the number actually changes from negative 100 means steering to the left uh, on the spot rotating on the left all the way to 100 which is rotating to the right so um, the value for steering is a number between negative 100 to 100 so instead of setting a hard value here what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna drag the output from the random number generator to where the property is for steering. So what that means is instead of deciding on a value for steering, the computer will decide it for us by generating a random number between negative 100 to 100. And I'm going to change it to on for seconds for the moving uh, move steering block. And I just want to move it for, let's say, two seconds. Um, and let's set the power level to 20 so it will move at a power level of 20 for two seconds with a random amount of steering okay now once it's done that what I want to do now is I want it to move forward move forward for two seconds or three seconds at a power level of let's say slightly quicker 30 so you can see the difference okay now what I'm going to do is I'm gonna put it all underneath a looping forever block right so it's gonna keep re repeating this forever so let's recap what it's gonna do again it's gonna steer a random amount for two seconds and then it's gonna move forwards for three seconds and it'll keep repeating this forever so let's transfer this program now to our robot and see what happens. You can see the robot is moving forward for three seconds and then rotating randomly for two seconds. And it keeps repeating that forever.